This is an introductory video tutorial of the Jet Planner 4.0, which is a powerful simulation tool for laying telecommunications and energy cables and underground ducts or on rollers. You can see here the trajectory we will simulate for that tutorial with the first segments. In that tutorial, we will simulate the feasibility of the installation of an optical fiber cable of a diameter of 6.5 millimeters on a distance of 673 meters from point A to B in a duct of an internal diameter of 8 millimeters and an external diameter of 10 millimeters with a plumet jetting machine. So, to start the Jet Planner 4.0, you must first start your browser Type in the URL you received in the confirmation email from Plumatoc, jetplanner.plumatoc.software. Enter your username or your email in the login field, along with the personal password you received directly by email. Then, click on Logan, and you arrive on the main page, which is the Jet Planner 4.0. First, you can go select the language in which you want the interface to appear. Here is the Help menu where you can access the user guide. Or a guide that describes all the equations used in the application. A user manual that explains here how to draw a trajectory in Google Earth to import it in KML format into the Jet Planner and a description of what is the coefficient of friction between the cable and the duct and how to determine it. And finally, the release notes of the Jet Planner 4.0 application. In your profile, you can also modify your personal information as your username, full name, and email address. You can also edit the system of units, selecting for example the standard system of units. We return here to the home page which lists all the projects you have worked on. The first time you open the application, you can click here on this button to create your first project. And then you can type here the name of your project with the customer's name, the location, the date, and the optional description of the project. You can then add an image here to easily identify your project among all the projects you will create later. Click on Save button to validate the changes. You are now on the project page. First, it is possible on this page to load different files like the cable characteristics so you can easily find them during the project. Duct characteristics may be a feasibility study of the project or a trajectory obtained via AGIS systems or Google Earth. We can now simulate the cable installation feasibility of a first section. In a project, you could simulate several successive sections or compare similar sections with different parameters. In this specific case, we will simulate a single section, but there could be multiple cable sections in a project. To create a section, click on New Section. For this tutorial, we will simulate the following section from point A to B. You can see here the 3D section of the underground duct. So we will perform this simulation for this trajectory. The first thing to do is to type a name for this section and we can add a description of this first section. And then we will choose the cable installation method. So here, I will scroll with the mouse over the different methods. The tool allows simulating cable installation using pushers to push the cable in a duct or by pulling the cable with a winch in a duct or on rollers or a combination of both push and pull methods. Then the jetting method where we push a cable into a duct by injecting pressurized air which makes it easier to install the cable over longer distances. A similar method named floating using water instead of air and the water push-pull method which allows simulating the installation of a power cable with Plumetas' Watacab. Free floating, also a method with Watacab that allows pushing cable segments into a duct 
using pressurized water that is very useful for installing power cables in offshore wind farms. In our situation, we will simulate the installation of an optical fiber cable in the duct we saw earlier with a jetting method. Once we have selected the different parameters, we see that the first step is validated in green, confirming that the parameters are coherent. We can then move on to the second step by clicking directly on equipment to choose the machine we will use for the cable installation. So we can choose these different machines, like the Intelligent, the Mini-Jet, or in our case, OptiJet. Once I choose the machine, the different parameters appear, and I can choose the air compressor I will use to blow my cable into the duct. Either we edit the values manually, or we can choose from the presets the correct compressor we want to use for this simulation. Once I have filled in my parameters, I can click on Next to move to the next step. Here, we will choose the duct parameters. For our example, we will take a duct with an outer diameter of 10 and an inner diameter of 8 millimeters. We can then edit the coefficient of friction. In our case, we will start with a bad coefficient of friction of 0 0.18. If we don't remember what it is, or we want information, there are also small information points on the right of each parameter that we can click on for more information on the parameter. And here on the right, I will add this parameter to favorites to have it available at the end. At the time of simulation, I can click Next, or go directly to the next step here. Then we can choose our cable parameters. We take a telecom cable with a plastic optical fiber and a cable diameter of 6.5 millimeters and a max pulling force of 1,000 newton. This parameter will allow us to control later if we risk damaging the cable or not. We could also simulate the installation of multiple cables simultaneously or simulate a cable in a duct with resident cables. An interesting piece of information. If we enter an incorrect value, we might get an error message. Here, it indicates that the cable diameter is larger than the diameter accepted by the machine. This is indicated in orange. It doesn't prevent the simulation, but it's not realistic. However, it has simultaneously created an error that appears in red because the cable diameter here is larger than the diameter of the duct, making the simulation impossible. So we need to correct the parameter. And here, I will revert to the actual cable diameter for which we will run the simulation. And now, we can click on trajectory to move to the next step. Here we arrive at the phase where we will edit the different segments of the trajectory for which we want to check feasibility. So the traditional step here is to edit manually the different segments. Let's start editing these segments manually. So we saw that there was a straight segment of 200 meters at the beginning. To proceed, click on the button Add Segment and edit the 200 meters in the pop-up window. And click on Create Segment, and I create my first segment. Here on the elevation profile, we see a 200 meter segment. And on the top view, we also have a 200 meter segment. You have created your first segment, as before. Click on Add Segment to create the second segment. After a straight section, we usually have a curve, and we will add a curve here with a 45 degree angle and a radius of 3 meters. Click on Create Segment. I create my curve segment. Here we see on the arrow that we have started a 45 degree turn on the right. After this curve, I have another straight segment, this time of 20 meters. Add this new segment and edit the values. I create my segment. We see that the last segment identified in blue is also highlighted in blue on the graph, and we clearly see this 45 degree curve from the top view. After that, we have another turn with a horizontal angle of 45 degrees this time. Add this curve as done before, with a negative 45 degree angle, and also a three meter radius. Then, add the fifth segment as done before with a distance of 10 meters and a negative slope 
of 6 degrees. So here on the elevation curve, we see the straight segment, the turn, and then the downward slope from the top view with the two 45 degree angles. We could continue creating all the segments for this simulation. But another possibility of the tool is to go here into trajectories and import trajectories from an external file. For example, drawing via a GIS system, or why not via Google Earth? And I can click here to add my file. When I import the file, I arrive directly at this point, and here we see the trajectory directly imported into the application, which saves a lot of time compared to manual editing of sections and curves. Once the trajectory is edited, we can move to the settings to add constraints or select different simulation parameters we would like to display on the simulation view, like here for example. With the calculate backward function that allow to simulate the feasibility form B to A instead of A to B. After editing all the cable installation parameters, you can finally click on simulation to visualize the simulation result. When we arrive in the simulation menu, you can see the messages window that give you additional information about the simulation as the estimated required airflow in the duct. You can close this message window to see the main results window that contains all the key results of the simulation. And here is the result window which tells us that the cable will not be able to be installed, that it is blocked at 650 meters. This is what we see on the result graph here where on the horizontal axis we see the duct distance of 650 meters and we see that at 650 meters the blue curve intersects the red curve. So, the red curve represents the available force delivered by the jetting machine and the drag air force of the air expanding in the duct, pulling the cable towards the duct end. So, in red, the available force of the system and in blue, the buildup force needed to install the cable. For example, in these zones here, where the force increases exponentially, it is typically at these points where there are turns that generate capstan effects stunting the cable. Despite these different turns, the cable manages to be laid at least up to 650 meters. This is where it is interesting to use the favorites. You could, for example, Simulate laying from the other end of the duct from B to A. Doing that, you can see that the installation is possible from B to A. The blue curve stays below the red curve. Why is this? Because typically here, we have a negative slope. The cable is going downhill so the force needed to install the cable is lower. We return here to the initial calculation, and we return to our case where our cable is blocked at 650 meters, and we can also adjust the coefficient of friction. By lowering the coefficient of friction, we see that we can finally install the cable relatively easily. If we have a reasonable coefficient of friction of 0.1, as generally observed in the field, we see that it is quite possible to install this cable from A to B. And we see that the installation duration, excluding site preparation and dismantling, is 7 minutes. We can have many more favorite parameters, but before that, we can move to the last step here, which will create a PDF report Summarizing the entire simulation configuration, the list of the segments of the trajectory, the results, and the graphical view of the forces involved, and their elevation profile and top view of the trajectory, as you can see here at the end of the report. Do not forget, when you reach the end of the project, to click on Save section to save the different parameters of the simulation. And there is also the possibility here to share the project with colleagues, partners, or customers, simply editing their email address and clicking on Send Emails. Another interesting feature of the application is the ability to go into much more detail in the settings by clicking on the Expert Mode here. When you click on Expert Mode, you can access many more parameters than in Simple Mode. For example, here for the duct, you can edit the undulation values of the duct when they are known. We can also add these parameters as favorites to evaluate their impact on the results chart of the simulation view.
So, you have discovered the Jet Planner 4.0 application. We are returning to the home page, saving the section before to leave the page. You can now create your own projects that will be displayed on that page. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your experience with Jet Planner 4.0.